The following presentation is made possible by the generosity of the viewers of Sunday Mass at Mercy Home for Boys and Girls in Chicago. Good morning and welcome to Sunday Mass at Mercy Home for Boys and Girls. Today we celebrate the 33rd Sunday in Ordinary Time. My name is Dan Riley. I am joined by Patrick Holland and our celebrant is Father Scott Donahue, President of Mercy Home for Boys and Girls. For the beauty of the earth, for the glory of the skies, for the love which from our birth over and around us lies. Lord of all, to you we raise this our We gather together as a community of faith around the Lord's table to celebrate Eucharist, to give thanks and to praise our God. We do so in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with each of you. And with your spirit. We turn to the Lord and we seek the Lord's merciful and loving forgiveness. Lord Jesus, we believe that you are the way that leads us to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, we believe your word, your truth reveals God's love for us. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. We believe that your life, death, and resurrection gives us a share in your life forever. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us of our sin, bring us to life everlasting. Amen. We praise God as we sing. Glory, glory to God in the highest. Glory, glory to God in the highest. And on earth peace to people of good will. Glory, glory to God in the highest. Glory, glory to God in the highest. And on earth peace to people of good will. My friends, let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord our God, the constant gladness of being devoted to you. For it is full and lasting happiness to serve you with constancy, the author of all that is good. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The first reading is a reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. In those days, I, Daniel, heard this word of the Lord. At that time there shall arise Michael, the great prince, guardian of your people. It shall be a time unsurpassed in distress since nations began until that time. At that time your people shall escape, everyone who is found written in the book. Many of those who sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake. Some shall live forever. Others shall be in everlasting horror and disgrace. But the wise shall shine brightly like the splendor of the firmament, and those who lead the many to justice shall be like the stars forever. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. You are my inheritance, O Lord. You are my inheritance, O O oh Lord, my allotted portion and my cup, you it is who hold fast my lot. I set the Lord ever before me. With him at my right hand I shall not be disturbed. You are my inheritance, O oh The second reading is a reading from the letter to the Hebrews. 
Brothers and sisters, every priest stands daily at his ministry, offering frequently those same sacrifices that can never take away sins. But this one offered one sacrifice for sins and took his seat forever at the right hand of God. Now he waits until his enemies are made his footstool. For by one offering, he has made perfect forever those who are being consecrated. Where there is forgiveness of these, there is no longer offering for sin. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. strength to stand before the Son of Man. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with each of you. And with your spirit. Ours is a reading taken from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, In those days after that tribulation, the sun will be darkened, and the moon will not give its light, and the stars will be falling from the sky, and the powers in heaven will be shaken. And then they will see the Son of Man coming in the clouds with great power and glory, and then he will send out his angels and gather his elect from the four winds, from the far ends of the earth to the ends of the sky. Learn a lesson from the fig tree. When its branches become tender and sprout leaves, you know that summer is near. In the same way, when you see these things happening, know that he is near at the gates. Amen, I say to you, this generation will not pass away until all these things have taken place. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. But of that day or hour, no one knows, neither the angels in heaven nor the Son, but only the Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Interestingly enough, last night I was at a dinner and the dinner conversation was around the end times and the end of the world. And the folks I was having dinner with, they were, they were asking my thoughts. And, and bottom line, I told them this, I don't give it a lot of thought. When will it come? I don't know. But what I do give a lot of thought to is that I trust in God. And however God brings the end times together, I simply trust in that. I know that I have to focus on the here and the now, because that is the work of the disciple of the Lord. I went on to tell him a story that happened during COVID. I went to Northwestern Hospital. I was invited by one of our board members whose mother-in-law was well in her 80. She was on life support. She was dying. And I went into the hospital, and it was in ICU, and the mother's daughter was there, and me, praying and giving her the last rites. A difficult moment, but a beautiful moment as well. The one thing I noticed about Carmela, who was being called home to God at that very moment, was she was wrapped in a beautiful blanket. And the blanket was a photograph. It was a photograph of her at a wedding with all of her family surrounded by her. It was taken about five years previous. There was Carmela in her 80s, surrounded by over 40 family members, 
her children, her grandchildren, her great-grandchildren. And they took that picture and they made a beautiful blanket for her. She was covered by her family. She was enwrapped in love, the love of her family. What a powerful image that was. And what a consoling image as well. No matter how the end times come for any of us, know that we are enveloped. We are wrapped in the love of God. A God who says that God will be with us. He will be with us until the very end of time. And then time eternal in the presence of the Lord. What consolation. I will always remember that beautiful blanket in the privilege of anointing Carmela, wrapped in her family's love, wrapped in God's love, as each of us are. Let's profess what we believe. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begot not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men, for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and Son, who with the Father and Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Amen. Let's take a moment now as we place our prayers before our God who loves us dearly. Our response to each prayer will be, Lord, hear our prayer. For the clergy and lay people who minister around the world, that they may be blessed as they continue their missions, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the hearts of those whose lives are on the wrong track, that they may see error in their ways and return to a wholesome life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the boys and girls of Mercy Home, that they might continue on their paths towards healing, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the deceased friends of the Mercy Home community, may they rest in the peace and glory of our risen Lord. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Good, loving, and gracious God, we trust, we know that you hear all of our prayers. Help us be faithful disciples in this world and help us to trust in your plan for each of us to live with you one day forever, praying through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Pray, my friends, my sisters and brothers, that this our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. May the, the Lord, Lord accept, accept the sacrifice, sacrifice at your, your hands. hands for the praise, for the praise and, and glory of God's of name, name, for, for our, our good and good, and good of all, of all of this church. Holy Church. Grant, O Lord, we pray, that what we offer in the sight of your majesty may attain for us the grace of being devoted to you and gain us the prize of everlasting happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord is with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and salvation owes and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, he humbled himself and was born of the Virgin Mary. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from unending death, and by rising from the dead, he has given us life eternal. And so with the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and the powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew falls, so that they become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time that he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it. He gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and the eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again, until you Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and his resurrection, we offer to you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Blaise, our Bishop, and with all your faith-filled people. Remember also our sisters and our brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all those who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your presence. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with her blessed spouse, Joseph, with the blessed apostles and with the martyrs, with all the saints that have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs 
to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Pray for the coming of God's kingdom in the words that Jesus taught. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy, thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come, thy will be done, be done on, on earth as, as it is, is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as, as we, we forgive, forgive those who trespass, trespass against us. us. And, and lead us not into temptation, temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy we may be always freed from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to his apostles, Peace I leave you. It is my peace that I give to you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the risen Lord be with each of you. And with your spirit. And for those of you at home celebrating this Eucharist, with us here at Mercy Home for Boys and Girls, we pray that you receive God's choicest blessings and the peace of Christ in your life. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy. My friends, behold Jesus. Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those invited to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not I'm worthy, not worthy that, that you should, should enter under, under my roof, my roof but, but only say, say the word, word and, my and my soul, soul shall be healed. healed. For those of you at home, please turn to page six in your Sunday Mass guide and join in singing our communion hymn, Take and Eat. Take and eat, take and eat, this is my body given up for you. Take and drink, take and drink, this is my blood given up for you. I am the way that spoke and light was made. I am the seed that died to be reborn. I am the bread that comes from heaven above. I am the vine that fills your cup with joy. Take and eat, take and eat, this is my body given up for you. Take and drink, take 
and drink. This is my blood given up for you. I invite you to turn to page six of the TV Mass Guide and to pray with me the prayer we have for the children at Mercy Home. Our Lady, Our Lady of, of Mercy, Mercy, we pray we that pray you will guide, guide, protect, protect and, bless and bless all boys and girls who this day have a home called Mercy. May they, May they find the Father's mercy as we offer them our hearts in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. May they see God's mercy in action through our love, prayer, and sacrifices. We continue our prayer. We have partaken of the gifts of the sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord is with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Our Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. My soul cries out with a joyful shout that the God of my heart is great. And my spirit sings of the wondrous things that you bring to the ones who wait. You fixed your sight on your servant's plight, and my weakness you did not spurn. So from east to west shall my name be blessed, could the world be about to turn. My heart shall sing of the day you bring, let the fires of your justice burn. Wipe away all tears, for the dawn draws near, and the world is about to turn. Though I am small, my God, my all, you work great things in me. And your mercy will last from the depths of the past to the end of the age to be. Your very name puts the proud to shame and to those who would for you yearn. You will show your might, put the strong to flight, for the world is about to turn. My heart shall sing of the day you bring, let the fires of your justice burn. Wipe away all tears for the dawn. Folks, in my ministry, this is one of my favorite things to do is to gather with you and to pray with you on Sunday mornings. It's a great opportunity to bring the prayer of the church to those who can't get to their home parishes because of illness. Thank you for your prayers and thank you for your support. Not only do you support the TV Mass, but you support also over 600 young people who are entrusted to our daily care here at Mercy Home for Boys and Girls. We need your prayers, we need your support. Thank you, and may God bless you. The music for the broadcast of Sunday Mass at Mercy Home is generously provided by GIA Publications Incorporated and its World Library Publications Division.